Welcome to our lecture online and here's a third example of how to put together a Lewis structure for an ionic compound. In this case we're going to talk about aluminum oxide and notice the way the molecule is put together we have two aluminum atoms and three oxygen atoms. It'll become apparent very quickly why that is so. Well first of all aluminum has three valence electrons so the tendency for aluminum is to donate the three electrons. Oxygen has six valence electrons, so it has a tendency of trying to grab two more and make a full set of eight valence electrons. Now, of course, three and two are not the same number, so let's take a look here. Uh, this, molecule, this atom can donate three, and this one needs two, which means if we have two aluminum atoms, it, they can then donate six. If we have three oxygen atoms, they can then receive six. And so that's why the relationship between two aluminum and three oxide forms a molecule like that. So if we multiply this times two, we get six valence electron. We multiply this times three, we get six valence electron. And then, of course, the six of the aluminum, extra electrons from the aluminum can be donated to the three oxygens that then in total need six more electrons. So what that looks like is as follows. We have three, uh, I should say we have two aluminum atoms and notice that this aluminum has three valence electrons, this aluminum has three valence electrons and here we have three oxygen atoms. Notice that each of the oxygen has six valence electrons which means it has room for two more and here these are six valence electrons and room for two more and six valence electrons and room for two more. So what's going to happen is that these two electrons are going to end up with this oxygen. This electron is going to end up over here. This electron is going to end up over there. And then this electron will end up over here and this electron will end up over there. So that's how the electrons are going to be swapped, which means we're going to end up with two aluminum uh, atoms that do not have any valence electron in its outer shell and therefore it has valence electrons in its innermost shell. So we end up with two aluminum ions and since each of those aluminum ions have donated uh, three electrons they now will have a three plus charge. Then we have three oxygen atoms which now have eight valence electrons like so, and since they each received two extra electrons above and beyond what they came with, they will then be a two negative charge. And then when you put those together, you now have a Lewis structure of that particular ionic compound. So we have two aluminums that are three plus and three oxygens with the valence electrons indicated like this, which have a charge of two minus and you now have yourself the Lewis structure of an ionic compound. So that's a typical way of writing ionic compounds in the Lewis structure um, methodology. So that's how we do that. We saw a few examples, and now we go on to some additional examples of different kinds of compounds.